Francois Betancourt Meyers is a French author and a board member of the personal care company L'Oreal. As the only child of the majority shareholder of the company Lillian Betancourt, Francois Betancourt Meyers inherited her mother's fortunes upon her death in 2017 at the age of 94. At the time of her death, Lillian Betancourt had a net worth of $44.3 billion and was the 14th richest person in the world. Upon her inheritance of her mother's fortunes, Betancourt Mayers became the richest woman alive on earth as well as one of the 20 richest persons in the world. Francois Betancourt Mayers was born on the 10th of July 1953 in Nuit-sur-Seine, France. She is the only child of Lillian and André Betancourt. André, a decorated French war hero who resisted the Nazis, served as a government minister for 20 years and was vice chairman of L'Oreal until 1994. He died in 2007. Her mother, Lillian Betancourt, joined the business as an apprentice at age 15 and inherited her father's stake in L'Oreal in 1957. Francois is also the granddaughter of L'Oreal founder Eugene Schuler, who formulated a hair dye solution in 1907 that he called L'Oreal. He initially sold it to Parisian hairdressers and later registered the company as L'Oreal. She is married to Jean Pierre Meyers, who is the grandson of a rabbi who was killed in the Auschwitz concentration camp. Together, they have two children, Nicholas and Jean Victor Meyers. They both serve as board members of L'Oreal. Even though she is better known as the heiress of the world's largest cosmetic company, she also serves as the president of her family foundation, Betancourt Schuler Foundation, which along with their mother, she founded in 1987. The foundation has over $700 million in assets and donates to science research, humanitarian causes, and the arts. Furthermore, Francois has an active academic career as a prominent author, writing books on Jewish-Christian relations as well as on Greek mythology. However, not all was rosy with the Betancourt family. Francois' marriage to the grandson of a rabbi caused controversy as her grandfather Eugene Schulers was placed on trial for collaboration with the Nazi government. To add more problems, in 2008, Francois sued French photographer Francois-Marie Bainer for duping her mother and taking money from her. According to her, Lillian Betancourt was in a weak mental condition and Bainer had exploited her emotional vulnerability to trick her into giving him money and gifts worth almost a billion dollars. The gifts included, among other items, numerous life insurance policies. Lillian Betancourt considered Bainer to be a good friend and was offended when Betancourt Mayers sued him. As a result, the relationship between the mother and the daughter soured. After long-drawn court proceedings, Betancourt Mayers settled out of court with both her mother and Bainer. Betancourt Mayers and their family own about 33% of L'Oreal's share capital. She has been a member of the company's board since 1997. As the world's largest beauty manufacturer, L'Oreal owns more than 35 cosmetic, skincare, and personal care brands. Its lead portfolio companies include Maybelline, Garnier, and NYX. All in all, L'Oreal's group of companies generated more than $35 billion in revenue in 2021 and the company employs 85,000 people worldwide. If this video was informative, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.